so we ended up at the Uva Bar um, because it was like, what, we waited like not even like five minutes? Not even. Yeah, so five minutes, um, and this is a, a favorite of one of ours. Well, at least mine when we, I come out here. I feel like Pete loves this place, so we come out here a lot. Um, and Tom and I decided to do beer flights, right? Yeah. So, for, so there's four. There's four. We, we basically got everything on the menu. We got all the California drafts on here. So there's eight all together, and we're going to go one by one and try them all. Let's see, see what they taste like. So Stone IPA, which I don't like IPAs, so we'll see. It's and I, while you taste that, it says a true to style with a huge hop aroma, flavor, and bitterness throughout. So a bitter drink. Bitterness throughout. Yeah, it's bitter just like me. Yes. Cold and bitter. Yeah, but yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. But it, it it's actually very um, it flavorful, I guess. I don't know, it's got a weird, it does something weird to my mouth. I guess it's the bitter part, but. Okay, so next is Left Coast Trestles IPA, another IPA. All right. We need like crackers or something like that. Oh yeah, close the palate. Palate. Different kind of bitter. Different kind? Different kind of bitter. I think I, ooh. Ooh. I think I like the first one a little better, yeah, but yeah, so. that one was two row malt and imported light crystal malt create the nice color and clean finish. Light bodied, clean, and pleasantly hoppy. I would feel like the other one was a little light, lighter bodied than that one. But, um, okay, so we're moving on to number three, which is the Firestone Walker 805. That's a blonde ale. An all malt recipe finished with a touch of hops, slightly sweet, and a clean finish. Oh yeah, no, this is Coors Light. Like water. Last year. Yeah, I, I definitely get what you're saying with the Coors Light yeah. kind of yeah. flavor. Really, really and then uh, number four is Carl Strauss, which is a local. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Um, so Carl Strauss Aurora Hoppy Hoppy uh, Hoppy Alice. Hoppalicious. Hoppalicious. Uh, it's a brewed with Simcoe Mosaic. Amarillo and citrus hops, robust flavors and aromas of tropical fruit, pine, and tangerine. Smell it. Oh, that, that smells like... That, it smells like paradise. Yeah. You're having a weird reaction. It tastes like the, the tree part of the fruit. The tree part of the fruit. It tastes like the stem. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Like <laughs> the suggestion that fruit once hung here, but I'm chewing on the. I'm actually eating the uh, the the branch that fell off the tree. Yes. This is what I imagine my dogs taste when they like pick up a thing, but not in a bad way. Um, okay, so we're, we'll switch to my side, which is the next one is the Ballast Point Mango Even Kill, which I'm excited for this one. Yeah, so this one's. Uh, hoppy seasonal title with a boost of mango, fruity hops, and a low. Place for retail. That's what they need. Yeah. This is my favorite one so far. I, I actually think I went the wrong way. I think that's pineapple cider. Try it. You tell me. Uh, no, you're correct. Cause that's, yeah. Yeah, because that was the most clear. So. I'm not a huge mango person, but you can definitely taste the mango. It tastes like those, uh, the mango candies, a little bit, like less sweet, but you know that weird bitter. I actually like that one. Yeah? Yeah, it, I, I can't put my finger on it, it but it's the, it's the mango. You can definitely taste the mango. So next is Mermaid's Red Ale, which is a cascade hops, fresh floral aromas, bitter notes, and roasted malt. Finished with hints of chocolate, clove, and caramel. This was not as um, I was expecting something like Guinness? yeah, Guinnessy, and it's actually it's it's a lot more subtle than that description's making it out to be. Yeah, it's very light. 
Yeah, but right? Like, I, I, yeah. I thought it was going to be a lot more full bodied, I guess is the word. Like, um, but not bad. I, I actually I kind of like that one. We got two left Angel City Brewery Lager, which is a lager, is light, sweet, honey grapefruit lager with a strong citrus aroma and a light tart bite. Bite me, the string says. Oh, oh, good, yeah, good God. You can definitely taste the uh, the honey grapefruit in here. Yeah. I haven't decided yet. It's, it's, it's... Now you're scaring me. Well, that one's very different from the, from the other one. No, it could be that I've tasted six beers, but... I'm not getting a lot of anything in it. I'm not getting the bright. Like, it says tart, bright, like... Right. I mean, I can definitely taste the grapefruit, but it's like subdued grapefruit. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not having that same grapefruit, like a shandy, like a Hefeweizen or the uh, Leinenkugel's, yeah. that's a grapefruit shandy. But. So I, I tried this one by accident already. And I think if you're a cider drinker, this is actually really good. It's a pineapple yeah, yeah, not super pineapple. Well, no, it, it tastes like pineapple, but without the citrusy aftertaste. Like it's clearly a cider, but it, it's a little like it, it tastes. It's definitely got that pineapple in there. You can taste the pineapple, but so, okay. So I know it's tough to decide, but what one do you think you like the best? I forgot. You're, I think yeah, you're right. Like at this point, it's kind of all starting to blend oh, together. Yeah, too, my, so. my, we need food. But I, I do think that this is a good deal because yeah. you can see, like we've had a couple sips. There's still like and it's, we've had a couple sips. There's still plenty left still in the glass. Five ounce pours. Yeah. So you get 20 ounces of beer for 10 bucks. Yeah. Where most of the the pints are 950 or 10. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, yeah. The, the beer I was already going to order was 1050. So this seems like a better deal to me because I, I think you're probably only getting a 16 ounce pour here for a regular beer. Yeah, exactly. So. So they clearly like want you to experiment and try some of this stuff. So. Well, now that we've got this going and I have no food in me and getting a little bit buzzed from drinking these little things. We're going to try the food now and see where we go from there. So we got some Uva Street Fries and uh, we're clearly they don't, they enjoying don't, them. They don't look like they got run over but... Yeah, they're, they're, they look pretty fresh. They don't look like they've been dropped in the street but who knows. Uh, they're pretty good. I like them a lot. Yeah. There's been a couple um, garlic, like sliced livers in here, and I love garlic, so I'm all about it. How does it describe the cheese? Because the cheese is really interesting. Um, so, okay, so it says they're chorizo bilboa, right, right, right. Uh, spicy crema, green onion, pickled garlic, and cheese curd. But as you can see, I wouldn't say that's really cheese curd because it's not. But it's, it's not like it's your, not but like, it's not your normal like nacho cheese out of a can. No, no, no. It's yeah. really good. And it's leaving like just the right amount of spice in my mouth, which might be from the garlic. It might be from the chorizo. It also might be from the beer. It could be from the beer too, but I'm digging it. I really like these. I would definitely recommend these. Um, the the chorizo is a little a little what's, light on. What's the current it. price on them? Eleven dollars. That's not bad. Yeah. I feel like you get a pretty big, pretty big bowl, and like we're sharing it. You could probably share this with three people, I'd say. After that, I feel like maybe you're getting not getting your fair share of it, but yeah. So that's that's it for the app. Yeah, see, so he's going in. He's going in to eat. What'd you get to eat? I have the manchego something 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 salad. Is it good? Actually, yeah. I wanted something light because we had those heavy fries. Yeah, I heard it's pretty good. Do you regretting the lamb? I'm regretting getting the chorizo burger, yeah, because I, we've had the heavy stuff and now I'm starting to feel it. And I'm just like salads for the rest of the weekend. Yeah, so this has got the machinga cheese, apple, walnuts, arugula, and then the dates. I'm kind of pushing the dates to the side because they're all stuck together in a big old clump, so yeah. it makes it kind of hard to eat. But otherwise, good flavor, nice and light. You could add like it said, on the menu it says you can add chicken, but it said you could also add either yeah. like steak or like because they have a hanger steak yeah. or shrimp to it, which would make a nice meal actually. Yeah. Yeah, there's a load of like loads of green on that plate. Yeah, I mean I've been eating. For yeah, I was gonna say yeah. you've been eating that for a while. It's a, but, like, it, it just, just like keeps multiplying. Yeah, it looks good. It looks fresh. Yeah. I got the chorizo burger, which is actually it was 
pretty substantially like huge. I can't finish it. Um, stacked real high. Had avocado, like nice chunks of avocado on it. The chorizo's cooked really well. It's got a nice like slightly spice to it with the um, the Greek fries, which they, I asked why they were called Greek fries because what they are is just covered in sriracha and then. She said it was because they used to be served with the the, the gyro, the gyro, whatever. Um, and so they put sriracha on them, and now they don't know why they still call them Greek fries. So, but it's all it's good. It's good. It's pretty good. It's substantial. It's like I was like, ah, twenty bucks for a burger, but I guess it's like kind of fancier. I mean, it's on the a little bit on the pricier side, but still pretty good. And your and the, your salad was uh, only like $14 too. Exactly. So pretty, pretty well priced yeah. for that amount of stuff. For an entree salad. Yeah. Um, overall uh, impression here? I know you've been here before, yeah. but. Um, it was good. We had fun. I mean, we, I love, the appetizer was awesome. Yeah, I really liked those street fries. Yeah. The beer tasting was really fun. Yeah, also definitely recommend that. Um, I'm not sure that I get the salad again. It was good, but. Yeah. I'd probably go for something else or maybe just soup with apps. Yeah. Like the burger was good, but yeah, I feel like I feel like the fir the the first half of it was good. So this yeah, is definitely yeah. a good place to come and like what we did, do do the beer flight for sure because like we said, you get the four five ounces. So I think you end up with a better deal for ten dollars right. yeah. and you get to try them all. So yeah, or kind of I mean there's ten of there's wait, four or five Don't ounces. Do math. There's Don't eight math. of them, yeah. <laughs> So, but this is definitely one of my favorite places um, at Downtown Disney in Anaheim. So, Great atmosphere. Yeah. So, definitely check it out next time you're here. And if you haven't been here before, get here right now and do it. We're waiting. <laughs>